Hey guys, so this is the Sombrero song. Uh, this is a duet that Elsa has with Farah. Um, she's going to be an octave higher in this piece. And she has the melody for most of it, I believe. So she can definitely be um, confident and kind of louder. Um, so she has three on E. So she's going to have third finger on E. And then her other hand, she has three on G. So her thumbs are going to be neighbors for this piece. Um, there's clapping in it, so she can definitely practice the clapping. Um, it's great because it helps kids count better when they add that type of stuff. Um, this, so she has a decrescendo in here as well, which means that you can uh, gradually get softer. And she has some dynamics. You can quiz her again on the dynamics. This, she has crescendo, which means you gradually get louder. Um, definitely count these. Uh, more clapping. The ending, she'll have to move. So right now she's like this. And then she'll have to move her thumb to where her pinky was for those last notes. Um, they're staccato, so short. And the last one you can give a little bit more punch to because it's an accented note. So she can do that. She can practice that. Uh, again, you can practice along with the play along video that I'm going to send with. Um, the other thing, I guess, is with this one, she can try to make this as flowy as possible because she has the kind of melody that you want to hear over Farah's part. Farah has a um, kind of an underlying beat and this is the more melodic line. So she should definitely try to bring that out. Um, so definitely be confident in it and try to make it as flowy and smooth and um, connected as possible, if that makes sense. So she can definitely work on this for next time.